Right then guys, so what we're going to do, we're going to show you some tips and tricks of cleaning this um, antique Chesterfield um, wingback style type sort of chair. Um, and what we're going to show you is obviously getting into the deep inset buttons can be problematic um, if you're using obviously the, the Procol brush, you're not going to get into these and you're going to probably cause some damage on the leather if you're trying to ram that into those anyway. So, you know, that those sort of things you are going to sort of cause damage, um, you know, which is obviously going to be problematic for you. Um, so what we've got to try to do is obviously get into those effectively without causing damage. And that's where this brush comes in. Very handy brush. Um, it's got a very sort of, it's got a hard plastic sort of ferrule here, but it's a plastic ferrule and you've got nice sort of long brush, bristles that are sort of like an inch and a half, a um, couple of inches long and they're absolutely ideal to get into here. One of the sort of tips with this is obviously when you're cleaning, you've got to remember to pull these out and you can see that, look at the differences there on the colour from over the years and how this has been like a, a very dark sort of maroon very dark maroon sort of colour and then it's sort of all faded over the years and gained all this beautiful patina. Um, so obviously this all sort of needs cleaning up. We've also got sort of cracking on here which we're going to restore. We're not going to do the cracking restoration um, today which is all on this arm here. Um, it's all very very severely cracked. The camera might be able to sort of get over the top of it and you know sort of show that but it's it's sort of real bad here and it gets sort of slightly better as it goes further forward. So it's not sort of so, so severely cracked here. There are methods of obviously restoring those um, as well. You would obviously need to surface prep the area first of all. You can then apply some fibre binder onto those particular areas. Um, get the fibre binder on it, give that a light sand down and then apply some filler. Probably going to put some flexi filler onto that particular area there. Um, and, and you know, once you've got the flexi filler on it, you can give that a light sand down also. And then obviously start to apply your colour. So you'd apply a base colour, um, as in this case, it's sort of like a a very sort of mid to darkish tan, sort of like a, a almost like a rusty sort of red colour. Um, you'd put that sort of on first of all as your base colour. Then you're going to start to build up your sort of colours over the top of that with your sort of darker shade, this sort of very dark sort of maroony brown colour over the top. Um, and that's applied over very, very lightly with like a good quality sort of airbrush, like a patch airbrush or something like with a number five needle. Um, perfect for doing that. There's several methods around doing this. There is a, an, a, a video if you want that. We can actually give you a, a link to a hidden video um, about two-toning. That's a, a particular video to do all the two-toning. And we can actually give you a, a link to that video as well. If you just ask in the questions, we have put a thing up there where you can ask questions. Um, you know, if anybody asks any questions, do just ask us and we can actually answer those for you. Um, you know, so if, you know, if anybody does ask a question, we can actually read that while we're going live here now and actually answer that for you. Um, that's no problem at all. Let's just have a look, see if anybody's asked any questions. So, got no questions at the moment, but don't forget guys, this is our very, very, very first live video that we've done on YouTube. So. Um, we're actually swapping between two camera systems as well, which is making it extremely unique. Um, so we've got a live um, cam here at the top pointing down, covering the whole chair, and then we've got another camera over here um, with my assistant um, that's holding another camera, which is coming in very, very close as we need to, to show you great detail, just like that, as you can see. That's coming really close. Hi, everybody. Um, so that's coming really, really close. As you can clearly see, that's coming really close. So there you go. Um, LRC trying to, you know, do all the technology it's got here. We are going to actually do these, and we've got a few surprises coming with these videos that we're going to be doing live on YouTube, and it's going to be a matter of watching this space. You know, the whole world at the moment is in a terrible situation with lockdown with COVID-19, and it's an awful position to be in. It's almost like having World War Three without the bombs and the bullets. It's it's a really strange situation. I've never been in this predicament in my lifetime um, where we're sort of basically rationed. We're on rationing, um, you know, with food and everything. It's just absolutely staggering. Um, you know, and it's just, we just want to give our love to the world and just say, you know, stay safe out there, people. It's, it's a crazy mad world. And, you know, don't take things to, to, for granted too much because look how life can change so rapidly and so quickly. Um, you know, and it, life is so short and so valuable. So you've got to grab everything that you can while you can and, you know, and go for it. And 
this is where we're trying to sort of do things for people and we're trying to do this live video to help people that are stuck at home and give them a little bit of insight um, you know, into sort of cleaning and doing some work with the um, Chesterfield chair um, to show you how to do it. So let's get right over and do that. So I'm going to sort of disappear and I'm going to sort of come over the top and you know, like so um, and I'm going to show you how to get into all these. So we've got the LRC1 leather cleaner. Absolutely brilliant. As I was saying at the beginning, the Bruegel brush, um, fantastic brush for cleaning all the arms and stuff like that, but it's not going to get into these deep inset buttons. So that one will, you know, we're going to leave there for now. But to get into these deep inset buttons, it's very important that you use something that can get deep in there because around the buttons is where you accumulate sort of dust and grime and stuff like that. Underneath these pleats, guys, please do remember, underneath these pleats, you will get dust and dirt and grime all sticking underneath these pleats. So it's very, very important that underneath those pleats that you do clean those. And when you're brushing with the brush, you're going to lift those and clean them like that. So first of all, with this, what you would need to do with the first process with this chair is to actually use an airline and put the pressure up and blow into all these and you know open up every one of these pleats that you can here and blow that thoroughly with the airline to remove any dust and grain that's you know accumulating in between all of these pleats because they are a haven for things that can you know create damage to the leather once you start to clean if you don't pay attention to them you start vigorously cleaning with it they can get loose and start scratching and abrading the surface, and then you've got even bigger problems to contend with, which is what, you know, we're, we're trying to avoid all these sort of bigger problems. So that's what you've got to bear in mind. We're trying to avoid the bigger problems here, guys. So just bear that in mind. So let's sort of get straight on with it. And what we're going to do is we're going to get some of the LRC1 leather cleaner. Um, it's perfect for this. And just put it into the brush and just simply wipe it over like so. And we're just going to keep wiping that over, creating this lava with the brush as you go. And we're going to create the foam. It's a brilliant product for doing that. It's a natural water-based product. Um, it's what probably the favoured leather cleaner in the world today. It's one of the. It's the biggest selling product that, that I know out there of leather cleaners. Can, you know, and it, it's a, just a phenomenal product. Everybody loves it, and it, it's water-based. It's natural, and it's just got that beautiful aroma of leather as well. So, brilliant product. And just, you know, create that lava like so, and just keep it working into the leather. And that is the key to it. You've got to, you know, load it back up and just keep that working in and create that foam. And then what you can do with this foam is leave that on the surface. What that's going to do, that's going to eat into all the dirt and grime that's on the surface of the leather. And that's going to make removal of the dirt and grime so much better. So just get that in there and then we can show you, you know, th this has already had a bit of a clean on it. So, I mean, we're not going to get a, a, an enormous amount of dirt coming off here, but, you know, we, we, we have um, cleaned it already, but we'll show you, you know, what it's like. It's had a bit of a wipe, but most of this has been done already and we're just going to show you what it's like, you know, to get it in there and show you exactly how dirty that the leather actually is. Just keep going over it, you know, using the brush to create a nice sort of foam effect like so. You're not going to create any damage with this brush. It's a very nice soft bristle brush. But the key to it is obviously is getting into all these pleats as well. That's what you've got to get into. So open up the pleats like so and get that in there like that. Get the cleaner right down into them pleats. And obviously there's loads of these pleats, so you've got to do it in every direction you can possible. And just keep opening them up and getting them cleaned out. And just keep going over it. Use the, the lava will just keep reforming. That's the beauty of this product being natural. It just keeps reforming all the foam. And you can just keep going over the leather and just keep reforming it. And it's just going to work on the surface. It's a brilliant way. This is a very, very de delicate antique leather that we've got here. Um, and there's going to be no restoration to the colour of this done here. We are going to restore the arm um, on this item. Um, and we have actually replaced the cushion for the client. And we are going to restore this arm for them and this one as well. And it's going to be made to look more like this back section because this has worn all the colour off on both arms. So we don't want to be doing any restoration on the back here whatsoever because it's got a beautiful patina to it. And that's not, you know, we're not going to, you know, disturb that patina or make that patina go away. Um, we're just going to enhance the patina of this chair and make it look absolutely brilliant. And that's the beauty of it. So just keep going over the surface with the, with the brush. Giving it a good old scrub. As you can see, it just keeps reforming the lava. We're not actually applying any more to that. And it's just a brilliant product. And it can, the foam is a brilliant way to um, 
clean the leather. So you can clearly see there's definitely um, a good amount of dirt on there. So we've got a nice um, couple of white cloths here, and we're going to use those. As you can clearly see, you know, very, very, very nice and white. Um, come up closer to the camera, nice white cloth. Um, the camera will focus in, and we're just going to put that over the leather and just see what we sort of get dirt-wise and see if we get any dirt coming off there. I think we will do. We should get quite a fair bit of dirt coming off. See, it is quite mucky still. Yeah, there you go, look at that. It's quite, quite a bit, bit of uh, dirt, dirt coming, coming off there, there as, as you can clearly see. see. A lot, a lot of dirt, dirt on there. So, so I mean, that, that's the beauty of it. So we, you know, you've got to get, make sure obviously as well, now we've got all the clean on there, you've got to get dry in between all the pleats as well to remove all the dirt. And as we say, we have gone over this initially with the airline to blow all the dirt out of these areas. And that's removed all the dirt, dust and grime, and little particles of dust and grit that gets in there over the years. Um, and it's just sort of made it a lot easier because if you don't remove those, you're just going to create damage on your item when you start cleaning it. So this is just a great way to get in there and do that. And then what we can do, you've got to make sure you get in between every one of these plates because obviously we've got fluid there and clean them up. Because you don't want to leave the fluid in the plates because obviously what that can do is start to create dampness and issues with mould and growth and stuff like that. So you've got to make sure you get all them cleaned because obviously you don't want to create any issues you know with the cleaning process so you know, as long as you do that correctly and follow these simple steps it will be absolutely brilliant and fantastic but just look at the state of the cloth i mean it's just you can see what's coming off there you can see all the dirt and chrome on it. it's just absolutely gross absolutely amazing so you know if, if anybody does have any questions you just need to ask um and we'll be more than happy to answer anybody um you know with this it's as simple as that so you know, if anybody comes to us with questions afterwards we can answer that but it's a, it's a great way to clean this sort of Chesterfield suite which a lot of people would just they wouldn't think to sort of use a brush like that to get in there and sort of deep clean the item um, and, you know and that's what you've got to do you've got to get in there and deep deep clean all of that item properly get all that dirt removed and, and you know it just makes it so much more easier but these are just so th these are under our um, section for our detailing car care products under the Roborn side of things just go on there and um, have a look and you can get these detailing brushes. They come with several sizes. This particular one is a number 20, um, which you can order. It's a number 20 brush. Uh, they're absolutely brilliant because they're great for dashboards and stuff like that on cars as well. Um, so not just for items like this. I mean, you can use them on, as I say, for detailing and dashboards and everything. So they're absolutely brilliant. So, you know, it's just, again, simply spray in a um, couple of squirts into the bristles um, and just simply, you know, rub it in and create the foam as you're going along like so almost a bit like shaving foam to be honest uh, just you know create the uh, lava as you're going simple as that it's just absolutely brilliant it's just a, a much safer way around doing it because obviously the brucal the, you know the brucal can't get into them it's just going to create problems so it just can't get into them at all so it just can't get into them so don't worry about that so it's absolutely brilliant And once we've obviously got all this cleaned, we're going to be able to obviously apply some protectors and stuff like that for the for the suite once we've done it all for the client. Um, and they're going to be an extremely happy customer once that's all been done, um, you know, and, and it's all been made uh, back with its beautiful patina and the seat cushions repaired. But I mean, just look at the uh, dirt coming off there. It's absolutely staggering. Um, Disgusting. I'm trying to move the opposite way to the camera. Hey ho. Um, that's a wonderful world of technology. I'm looking at one screen and there's another screen over there and another screen there. And I've got three screens behind me and I'm trying to look at which one and I'm moving this way and I should be moving that way. <laughs> that's, the, that's technology. I've got to do everything in reverse to what's actually showing me on the screen. So that's uh, what happens when you try to be smart asses and clever buggers and uh, yeah, that's how it goes. But still. And one of the things we're going to be doing as well, guys, is um, we, we're going to be doing some very, we've got some very um, clever little things we're going to be doing with all the videos and stuff like that. Um, so we're going to be, we're going to be doing a lot more of these streaming live sessions for you where you can sort of fire things back at us and ask us all sorts of questions about all sorts of leathers. One thing I will say is go to the internet's most favoured leather wiki site. Um, prorestorers.co.uk or just go on to leatherencyclopedia.com. Um, very, very simple. Um, 
either one of those will take you to the site and there is it's jam-packed full of information on the um, leatherencyclopedia.com website um, with everything that you need to know about leather um, you know no matter whether it's one of these right through to car leather um, you know through the vegan leather and you know from a buffalo to a kangaroo and everything else so i mean there's absolutely everything that you need to do on there from a snake to a frog and everything else so whatever leather there is it's all on that website it's a bit like i could almost imagine myself a bit like david attenborough you know but, um getting all enthusiastic about like animals and things yes um it's one of those things but uh, yeah i mean so hopefully you would have enjoyed that video we will be doing some more of these shortly but we have got some guests coming so yes, watch out because we have some guests coming that are going to be some absolutely amazing guys that are going to come along and you can fire um, questions backwards and forwards with these leather gurus um, as well as sort of other gurus from other industries. So we're going to keep that one a little bit of a secret at the time being. So yeah, we've got some things up the sleeve here, guys, so to speak. So it's going to be absolutely brilliant. If you want to know anything about our products, hop on over to the website, www.leatherrepaircompany.com and have a look at all the details on there if you want to go to the shop it is shop.leatherrepaircompany.com have a look at everything on there any questions you have about any of our products do fire them over and we will help you um help at lrcuk.com is our email address um, send over the questions and we can help if you want to pick up the dog and bone do so and give us a bell simple 01482 606 864 more than happy to help and talk to you on the dog and bone as well so yeah pick it up and bell us Thanks, everybody. Team LRC.